Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, guys. Celtic Warband here, and thanks for tuning in to another episode of my France campaign for Medieval Kingdoms 1212 AD. And we find ourselves in another impossible siege. We've got, uh, from if those of you guys can remember from the last episode, we have the two English armies that have merged together and sieged us at uh, Ruen, I believe is how you pronounce it. Now, uh, the general and the cavalry are quickly coming down this side. I believe all my archers are on fire at will. Yes, they are. But our infantry is quite lacking. It's it's quite worrisome. Now, the only problem is they also have some pole arms over here. You can see they have two units of billmen. And I'm not sure, but I believe they do have another small army on land as well. So it's going to be a little bit difficult for us to win this battle. You can see that we are not heavily outnumbered, but we're definitely outclassed. We're going to need all of the archers to really pull their weight here today but we can go ahead and put this back on to play and yeah the archers are just going to open up i'm hoping to slay this general as quickly as i can and are they just going to charge up here against the barricade yeah it looks like they are and they've realized that they're not able to get in this way which is great I wonder what side those units are coming from. I want to try and catch this general in melee if I can, to be honest. Yes. Oh, yes. The general just getting absolutely slaughtered. Perfect. Yeah, it looks like he is trying to escape, but... My cavalry. What do I want to do with my cavalry? I obviously want them to be able to fight more late game. So since the general's pretty much dead here, there's really no point in me even firing on them. Yeah, there we go. Enemy general's dead. So that is going to help us out. Uh, they can stop firing for now. Stop firing, guys. Stop firing. Crossbows can stop firing. Just make sure they're all off for now, because they're just wasting their ammo, basically, at this point. And now we wait. Let's actually get my cavalry over here in the trees. Aha! I see some units coming in. Yeah, this is the king's bodyguard, so I believe this is the army that we defeated at Paris. So they have been able to rally themselves. And they're going to be coming over to... I would take it that they're coming over to this side, to be honest. So I'm going to bring over my men here. And we've got to redeploy some of our crossbows as well. So let's get them over onto this flank. Let's get the archers up over here. And yeah, these archers aren't really going to be that useful. So I'm thinking... Yeah, we'll re redeploy the crossbows up onto this wall. And archers we can set up kind of right behind. Thinking that might be a good, good shout. Now they are bringing their boats forwards, but they're going to have to land them all. And then I think that hopefully these two units of sergeants of the early period can hold. The only problem is with all of the archers. Yeah, that is going to be a little tough. Uh, you guys up over here. Let's actually uh, put some archers down right here. Just for now. And yeah, maybe some more archers here. Just temporarily. Because they're actually quite slow to come over this direction. And all archers can turn on fire at will now. Because I believe these archers should be able to hit these sergeants. Well, maybe not. I can't target them just yet. There we go. Volley on these English as they come off their ships. Slay them all. The cavalry is going to be instrumental here as well. So now that I know that they're coming over from this side, let's see if we can actually try and get some uh, rear charges on these billmen. There we go, starting to open up. Excellent crossbows also starting to fire. This crossbow unit, it's kind of out of the way for now. 
but we'll see how it goes. Come on, how are you obstructed? Yes, oh, the sergeant's getting absolutely shredded by these archers. Yeah, they're already starting to waver. A lot of their shots are actually kind of missing as well. It's interesting. Are any more coming this way? We do have the Billman. So yeah, cavalry will we'll just have them kind of hidden over here for now. Because I want to get some rear charges on those Billmen or otherwise it's GG. Let's turn archers uh, over this way. Yeah, hit those billmen. Going after the cavalry here. This is the king's bodyguard, actually, so if we get them... If we get them, then they, it should be a good chance that a lot of these units are going to rout. Oh, yes! Again, really nice volleys. Archers, you must save the day! Save us! Come on, how's the general not dead? General's under attack somehow, don't know how, but oh, because of the archers. Yeah, they're broken, but continue to fire on them. Fire at these guys. Good. Oh, yes, those billmen are actually dead. Let's charge into the backs of these sergeants here. Break them for good. Get rid of the foot knights. Okay, you guys uh, stop firing at them, please. Okay, what do I want to do with this cav? Let's bring them up a little bit further. Archers, stop. Where is the other units that are coming in? Yeah, these these guys are super depleted. So actually, we might we might just win this one. Let's pull these guys real quick back into position. And I think we should just get a nice solid charge on these foot knights. Again, you guys are really wasting your ammo. Yeah, here we go. This is going to be a good charge, I think. They're trying to form up into a shield wall. That might actually be pretty effective. Oh, yeah. Getting a lot of friendly fire on my cav there. It's not ideal. Stop firing! Oh my gosh. <laughs> my archers are actually leaving. They're pretty confident in themselves here, I can see. Alright, uh, these archers, let's move them over just a bit. Let's get these guys up a little closer. And same with these archers, let's see if we can move them over here. And we need to, again, focus on these very healthy Billmen. Come on, hold. Hold, longbows. Okay, fire on these now. And what do they got for cavalry and infantry? Yeah, it's, it's really weak. Uh, they could break through my spears here. It's quite possible, but the balance of power is starting to slip into our favor. So this is huge. Yeah, down to 600 men. Man, the archers really saving us here. Okay, let's uh, take one of these units over to this side. Block off this side with the early period sergeants. And let's charge. Oh yeah, it's just like machine gun fire. Absolutely amazing, these archers. Did not think they were going to be that effective for me. Yeah, my cavalry just mopping up 
especially against these Billmen. I mean, they are in a bit of a formation now, but I think they're just way too depleted, especially with the general being dead as well. Yep, they're gone. Nice. Yeah, a lot of friendly fire on my cavalry. That's my bad. And let's get ready to charge all of these sergeants. I think they're sergeants. Oh, foot knights. Sergeants and sergeants. We'll get a huge charge into the backs of these guys. Here we go. Beautiful. And that's probably going to be close to GG there. They do have some more archers coming in, but... Yeah, they're going to uh, begin to break. And now we actually have the cavalry to run these guys down. So let's go ahead and fast forward. I want to make sure that a lot of these units just don't get away. So let's quickly get the Chevalier in here. Yeah, they did really solid. Let's get after these uh, longbowmen here. Whew, so yeah, just holding on. Just holding on. What do we got here? Uh, yeah, longbowmen. We'll get rid of them. I think that's just one man. Yeah. Good. I think that's good there. What we got running here? Only six sergeants. That's not a problem. See, so yeah, how many did we actually end up losing? We lost 30 men. Wow. Wow. 64 with the sergeants, but then 79, 161, 74, 218, 246, and 124, and then 323 on the cavalry, but again, they're just running down all of these units, getting extra kills. Hopefully the music isn't too loud for you guys. It seems a little loud to me, but I haven't changed any of the settings since the last, the last episode. And we do have six sergeants here. They may escape. We'll just find out. Oh, maybe not. Just when you thought you were safe. Excellent. And we will end the battle there. So a heroic victory. Well done to the French. And there we go. So yeah, only losing 30 men in that engagement. And some of them were probably friendly fire with me firing on this cavalry. But yeah, completely wiping out this army. And uh, this army almost wiped out. Some of the billmen and the longbows did escape. But we can go ahead and take the money, I believe. Because it doesn't matter about the integrity of the garrison commander. Did that fleet survive? Yeah, it did, unfortunately. But it's too weak at this point to really do anything else. And I'm kind of considering launching a retaliation assault against the English on their own isle. I think that might be a good option. But first we must deal with Flanders. Enemy killed in battle. There we go. Both Eustace and Randolph. Absolutely slaughtered them. I don't even know why I was that worried, to be honest. Okay, so... Oh, yes. This is the assassin here. So we're going to try and get rid of this guy. The general. Critical failure. Oh, no! <laughs> well, that's not good. That's your command. Ready for orders. Yeah, no mercenaries in the pool. We hunger for battle. Could come out of raiding stance, but that might hurt my economy a little bit. Advance. Could probably get a few more units in. So what does this army have? I mean, we've got a lot of pretty garbage spears. And we've got a good amount of archers. At your command. Uh... Do 
two, four, six. We could afford to get a few more um, Abelessier. Yeah, the cav is a little bit too expensive right now, so let's get three more of them. We're pretty much going to max out our economy there, but then we can just retaliate uh, right away and hit Flanders. They've got their 20 stack in here, plus their garrison. So it's 4, 7, 10. So it'd be 30 versus uh, 20... 29. So yeah, that'd be pretty even, to be honest. And I may just siege them out for now. Yeah, it looks like we're pretty successful down here. And we're just about replenished, so... Uh, if I move over to here... Uh, can I raid? Yeah, I have more than enough to just raid this turn. Which will again help my income even more. And, okay, so they got five crossbows, three spears, two halberds. But with all the cavalry, I, yeah, we should be able to have that if they do come out against us on the open ground. So, yeah, next turn I will hit them. How can I assist you? Start fire. Uh, we don't really need to damage the buildings, to be honest. And... What? So this is actually in a different region, so what we should actually do is go after Bordeaux. But that's a really solid garrison, a lot of archers. So we're probably going to need to take this settlement first, get rid of Toulouse, and then uh, build a few more units into this army. Uh, maybe a couple spears, a few more archers, and then we can go and hit Bordeaux. Uh, Toulouse, does that have a garrison? Yeah, it's working on it. I don't know if we need this training ground here. I think we we're considering the siege engineer. Oh, we also have a construction site, so we probably should build something. Uh, we do have a lot of food, which is good. Yeah, for both these food buildings. Uh, water mill. Manufactured goods as a resource, and it does give us a lot of wealth. So what is this, a market town? So we do probably want to go for the buildings that have the most wealth. The sanitation buildings I'm probably going to save for the main city. As well as the uh, city square. Having the fairground does help with trade. We've already got the taverns. So we don't really need that. Corruption would be good. Corruption reduction, that is. And that consumes food. So yeah, I think let's go for the water mill right now. Yeah. And then here at Toulouse. Like, it doesn't give us any extra garrison, it looks like. It will give us extra garrison eventually. Yeah, I'd say we just get rid of it, to be honest. Don't really need that. Okay, so I think that is everything we can do, except here, yeah, we've got to spend a lot of money to re repair. And we've changed this over to a fort. But uh, what I've learned from the 12-12 team is that actually all three of these will give uh, basic walls, so they're all going to be walled settlements. So, I mean, uh, where I was considering getting the walls for the main uh, settlement in Lyon... There's not really much point in me changing it all over now. I mean, I was going to change this over to the Prince Advocacy, because at Paris they are known for the churches, but that's basically just role-playing now. There isn't too much use in doing that, and that actually is very expensive anyways. So, I mean, I, uh, I think this was a Donified Fief before. Which, yeah, goes to the uh, Prince Arch Archbishop. Bishop Prick. And this into the uh, Metropolis. Which I think this was supposed to uh, move to the Metropolis. To the Commune. Yeah, for seven grand, though. So, yeah, well, that might have been a little bit of waste of money there. I wasn't aware that all of them had walls. But anyways, I think we are good. 
We're still uh, pushing forwards in that research to level up our farms. And then uh, maybe we can go for some more of these. But it mostly looks like they are going to be unlocking just buildings. So eventually I would imagine that they would kind of expand to give different traits and whatnot as well. Kind of like the basic Attila focus tree. And putting them into little blocks too. So once you uh, research all of them in that block, it gives you like minus 2 upkeep or plus 2% tax rate. That kind of stuff. But again, this is very early alpha, so... There is lots of work still to be done. And, uh, yeah, since we will take this city, I would suspect that these guys would be next. So we've got uh, Province and Viennois. Uh, so there are defensive alliances with Savoy. Okay, so that could be a bit of a problem. What about these guys? These guys are absolutely alone. So... Yeah, we probably could hit them next, but I'd like to remove the presence of England down in Bordeaux first off. And uh, the crown of Aragorn. Or Aragon. Honest welcome. Speak, friend, and hopefully later we will drink to seal our... Yeah, they're not a huge fan of me, to be honest. In the name of the state, welcome. How many people am I at war with here? So England, Flanders, Toulouse, Ayyubid Sultanate, and the Sh Sharifate of Mecca. Because I'm technically supposed to be on crusade right now. Anyways, a little end turn. We find you worthy of benefiting from mm. our prosperity. I mean, that would be good, but I, I wanted to take Bordeaux first. So uh, I'll be interested in that soon. But not yet. <laughs> no. No. That's the thing in Total War, Attila. If a faction is offering you peace, you've basically got them on the fence. They would not be offering peace if there was any chance that they were going to pose a real threat. So that leads me to believe that England either doesn't have any armies nearby, or I've just destroyed their two armies, basically. Disease outbreak. Where is this at? At Toulouse. Oh boy. Well, that is not good. Uh, we got a huge boost to income, though. My goodness. Let's go ahead and siege this here. Food shortage in Francia. And, yeah, we're just going to uh, encircle that for now. Did that say in one turn they're going to stay, tar start taking attrition? Oh, no. Eight turns. Wow. That's actually pretty good. We take this settlement! Uh, what can you... You can't deploy here. Unfortunately, okay. What if you deploy? Can you deploy in friendly territory? Yes. Start leveling yourself up a little bit. And do, 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 what do we got? A cattle herd. I actually haven't taken a look at which one is going to be the most beneficial in the long run. They're all plus five squalor. Oh, this is actually just plus ten squalor. Gives a lot of wealth though. And the dairy farm gives the most food. So maybe the dairy farm. Like, I understand that these are good when you compound them with the, the local fertility level. But I'm not sure if I'm going to be in investing in that just yet. But what do we got? Some wheat fields here. How's there a food shortage when we've got like three... Oh, we've only got two buildings here. That's why. I see. Well, we'll save our money for now. At your command. Ready for orders. So, 
Yeah, we've got 12 plus 17. So that's, that'd be 29, I believe. 29 versus 20... 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, so 29 versus 30. I think we will have them. Uh, we've got more cav than they do. They've got three... Yeah, three units of cav. They got a lot of archers, but I should be able to tie down that with with my cavalry, and then uh, just wipe out their archers. So let's go ahead and give them the archers, and then come in here, siege them, in circle. Oh, sorry guys, Microsoft uh, deciding to bother me here when I'm trying to record. There we go. So I've got them as reinforcements. We'll put them in raiding stance. Although, wait, will that make them tired? Unit state winded. Yeah, I don't want that. So I'll just have them in behind. We're making more than enough cash right now anyways. So it's not super necessary. But yeah, we've got disease outbreak here. That's concerning. And this gibbet. Is that what I really want? Fairground would probably give more wealth, but we'd lose the religious influence. Actually, how's public order uh, here? It's actually minus eight right now. Hmm. Okay, well, let's get the wheat fields in. And that's pretty much all I can afford. Okay. Anybody wanting to trade with me? It's too bad. They're actually really friendly with me. Your people's reputation Can we confederate in this? Find a welcome here and speak as you wish. No, it doesn't look like it. We offer you honest welcome. Speak, friend, and hopefully later we will drink to see. These guys we managed Welcome to get non-aggression with. Friend. Hey, trade as well. Nice. Yeah, interesting mechanic too. Somebody let me know that the Norwegians actually start off as a horde. So I think they have uh, two armies that are situated outside of a Swedish city. So I, I would take you would siege that. And they've also got a fleet, I believe, off the coast of England. So very interesting start. That could be really fun. Um, really fun to play. I might actually play that next. We'll see. I'm, I'm getting a ton of requests to play a bunch of different factions. Uh, keep in mind, I won't be able to play all of them. But uh, I will definitely spend some time on this game for sure. I mean, it's uh, the hype is real for this game. Everybody has been waiting for it. There we go. Trade there. So that's going to help the old income out a bit. Aragon, you want to trade? No, you don't. Caliphate. Do not try my patience with the dull yeah, they're mad because I'm at war with the other ones. Okay, so we may have another battle here. Let's, let's see how it goes. Oh, England's going to just go over and support Bordeaux, I guess, or maybe they'll build another force there, because they actually will be able to replenish. So I'll have to be really careful about that. And disease at Ruin as well, eh? Mm, that's not good. This is my assassin here. Uh, I guess we could kind of use him to scout around, maybe. See what else is going on in the world. Yeah, we've got the stone quarry. That's what's causing squalor. And we're already struggling with the food here. What was the one that gave the most food, I think? It's 110. This is 50, but then... 172 extra food. Because 
Because I'm thinking of getting rid of this now and putting in a sanitation building. Yeah, go for the wheat fields there. We'll put a sanitation building in there and we'll build that up. The library is definitely helpful for the plus 10% research. But I'm thinking a food building will be more important there, so we'll get rid of that too. We're making a decent amount in the spring and summer months. I'm wondering if I should just go in against this. I'm not sure what I want to do. We could probably win that, I'm thinking. But next turn, they'll be able to get to Bordeaux and reinforce. And that's going to be another problem. But yeah, at this current state, I wouldn't be able to take that garrison on anyways if they sallied out. How many turns until they start to surrender? Oh, uh, we'll need three turns. So yeah, we'll, we'll let them attrition, attrition themselves down if that's what they want. Now what, so they, we've got Shreer here in Antwerp as well. Uh, I suspect that they probably won't be that friendly with us because they're also kind of the same faction as, as Flanders, I believe. They're very close. Let's just take a look here at what we got. Who's uh, number one right now? Okay, England is six. Sicily is nine. That's quite powerful, actually. I offer you honest welcome. Oh, what if I offer you both? Okay, they don't want the military access. That's fine. Really? Okay, 600, and that's the end of it. That is the top. Okay. Greedy Sicilians, my goodness. 680 gold to trade with the mighty French. So if that English army gets back to Toulouse and I see them start to build up another force, then I'm going to have to hightail it back to Toulouse and start to build up some more troops myself, I think. And then just retaliate against... Bordeaux. If I could take Bordeaux, then the English will probably not attack this far south. Uh, they'll mostly just land in the north, I think. It'd be an annoyance up there. New Pope elected. Pope Honorius III. Excellent. Solonius requests that you build a monument to the Lord in these lands so that the pious may worship. Religion, turns remaining six. I don't have a... S oh, actually, that's fine. Because with these muster grounds here, I can build a church there. The only problem here, too, is I have to be careful with the pestilence. I don't want my... I don't want my army to get sick. Campaign spawning chance... Ah, deploy foreign territory. There we go. So let's actually bring him over here. As you command. Is there nothing else? And I can't deploy this turn, unfortunately. Impossible. Let's go really close and see if I can... The yeah, so they've already gained high. another general. They've got those two there, but we'll see if they actually build up a force. It's going to take quite some time to siege these guys out. I mean, I probably could, could win, but... We'll see how it goes. Okay, over here, can, can we take a look at Antwerp? I don't rest. There they are. For my people's part, welcome. Oh, they will take a non-aggression. Okay. Uh, can't trade with them yet until I take uh, the Flanders territory. 
Yeah, see, they don't like the war with the county of Flanders, though. Not really a fan of that. Oh, well. The French need to expand. We've got places to be. Here we go. I can actually... Uh, okay, let's get rid of that. That gives us a decent garrison. But yeah, I can see now why they would say having the extra garrison on these... These towns that are closer. So maybe I could just convert this to the... Uh, back. Because we've got the chartered city... County capital. That's kind of funny, though, because this is the capital. But it is Paris, I guess. I mean, it's probably fine. Lyon is pretty well defended, too, so... It's back to the Donified Fief, I guess. And that way we've got... Uh... Yeah, because we've got the market town here. Which should be here, but it still gives the same bonus across the province. And then keep that as the border fort. And then bring this to the Donified Fief and go up to the Prince Advocacy. Because does that give a lot more wealth, too? 600, 400. Gives a lot of religious stuff. We could convert that right now. To the Prince Advocacy. I mean, why not? We'll, I'll just continue with what I was doing. Whatever. I kind of like the roleplay aspect of it, and I might as well just stop uh, talking about it. I'm sure you guys are just like, oh, will you choose already? Uh, you, can we deploy? No? Maybe not yet? Oh, no, I don't know. Okay, uh... Do we have any more money for anything? Do we want this one to stay the fort? I think we did. So we'll just have to save up and switch this one into the commune, which would be the market chain. Then we've got the advocacy because of the church here. Very good, very good. Okay. Oh, unassigned skill for the governor. Let's take some more tax and provincial cost, uh, provincial construction cost. That's very good. What are they doing here? Really? So they're forcing a draw out, eh? That's actually very interesting. They've got one, two units of cav. I have one, two, three, four, five units of cav. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven archers. I've only got two archers. Hmm. It's will my mainline infantry hold is the only thing. I say we try it. I think we can do this. I'll see you guys on the battlefield. All right, guys, welcome to the battlefield. And I'm hoping that the garrison forces do not spawn behind us. That would actually be quite bad. But I'm kind of formed up on this little hill, and I want to see if I can just wrap up the English forces as quickly as possible. So we're going to uh, go ahead and move forwards just a bit. The enemy has and yeah, they are, they are coming from behind. Okay, so scratch that plan. Um, so let's see what I want to do here. Let's form up this way. Uh, let's bring the melee cavalry back over to the side. And we'll kind of have the heavy shock cav here. And actually, let's get them into their own group. Let's put the shock cav here. Let's get the melee cav out here and crush the English. My uh, general, he is full health. 
I think we should be able to crush crush them here. It's a bit of a risk, but we'll we'll do our best. Try and get around them. Okay, so they're going to try and form up. What are you guys doing? Get out of there. Good, go around. Go after these archers. It's a little bit framey here, which is a little strange, guys, because there's not many men on the battlefield, so I'm not sure why. But uh, just bear with it. Okay, let's form up here. Archers, we should have the range on those crossbows. We'll keep the cavalry in behind. And shield wall, what's going on over here? Get out of there, don't fight them. General's already shattered, excellent. Yeah, hit these guys from behind, and as they're fighting here, we should be able to just clean these guys up. And then, just like that, the balance of power should be pretty even. Yeah, huge hits there. Nice. Just slaughtered the English. How dare they try and get in our get in our way of conquering Toulouse. The nerve of them. Okay, so let's head back over here. Uh, archers. Let's move the shock cab over to this side. Archers. Let's focus these uh, Volge militia. Volge. And we'll just move these guys forwards at a snail's pace here. Yeah, let's see if we can draw these this uh, general over to this side. Oh, they're actually just going to fire at me with crossbows, are they? Hold. Actually, yeah, just try and chase them away. Nice. Perfect. Excellent. And yeah, these, these militia are just getting absolutely trounced. Oh, this actually went way better than expected. Gotta have more confidence in my abilities. I always uh, misjudge myself. Plus, the French cavalry, it's a huge, huge help. This general is still alive, though. Yeah, slaughtered this, this militia. These halberds that are coming back to try and save their crossbows. Okay, got it. Oh, don't engage the spears, please. Okay, volley on the uh, general here. Yeah, none of the English have returned, so that's good. Just keep running them down. Archers, uh, let's let's keep firing on these guys. And what do we got? Uh, three there. Five. Send see some uh, melee cav after the general. Ooh, archers, pull back a bit. Don't get into melee yet. These are some pretty solid spears, the levies. Yeah, they do they do pretty well for themselves. Okay, so yeah, once these guys break, we will 
will we will slaughter the what's left of these halberds. Okay, keep on them. Make sure they are depleting themselves. Let's intimidate these guys. Yeah, they've already shattered, actually. Ooh, let's... Oh, I'm just gonna miss it, because it's a little bit framey, but... Nice. Coming in from the flank as well, the cavalry. Hitting nice and strong. Over here as well, these spears kind of... Oh, no, they are in a spear wall. But I think I did select them to go after the... Uh, Halberd Militia. And there we go. That's the battle. So yeah, it's kind of weird. That one was so framey. I'm not sure if it's the map or... Because it wasn't a very big battle. There was only about 2,000 men. Yeah, just run down the remainder of them. And that should be Toulouse completely destroyed. Good. And there we go, another decisive victory, and again, beating England. And there we have it, so actually, yeah, the garrison's completely wiped out, and only one of those longbowmen survived. Uh, we will go ahead and take the 3% replenishment. And Flanders is coming out against us, okay. So yes, I believe we should be able to best them, but that's going to have to be a battle for Saturday's episode. So thanks so much for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this in the future. And I will see you in the next one.